If you fly a drone in the United States, you need to pay attention to this. The FFA's new testing system is now live, but don't worry, in this video I'll explain about it, how to do it, and even sit some of the tests for you, showing you the results at the end. So let's get on with this, but it's really important for any flyers in the United States. Let's go. So this is an actual test by the FAA. It needs to be done from today's date for anybody who flies a drone recreationally and you get a trust completion certificate at the end, which you will be required to produce by the FAA or law enforcement. So this needs to be done. The FAA has approved 16 official testers. It's free, so make sure you're not actually paying money on any websites for this. And I'm going to use for today's example, the UAV Coach website to do this. If you go into the FAA website, there's a direct link here. So make sure you are clicking on one of the approved links. And then after the completion, you'll get a certificate like I've said. So it's a big deal this, it needs to happen. I know not everybody's going to be happy about this, but it's not difficult. It makes sure that any drone pilot out there has a basic knowledge of height limits, dangers, and places you cannot fly. So I'm going to do this test now. Obviously I'm from the UK, but I'm going to do the US test and just show you now, go through it. Obviously I can't show you the full test, but I will show you some of the questions and then I'm going to stay going through all the actual practice material and the test to the end and then show you the certificate you get at the end of it. And then also just point out that, look, it's not difficult this, you you should be able to know this and it's multiple choice. So let's get on with it and I'll show you what I mean. So the course is split into four sections. Now it's not a long course. You could do this in probably 20 minutes, I would say, from start to finish. So the first section here is understanding the basic fundamental knowledge about flying the drone. So you can go through and you can read all the actual material on it. It talks about the understanding, the requirements, basically where you can fly, the safety, keeping your drone in line of sight, all the basic requirements that you need to be aware of. When you've gone through all these, these different sections on recreational flying, the different areas you can fly, different using maps. I mean, it sounds complicated, but basically all you're going to do is read the couple of paragraphs and then the top right hand corner where it says next, you just keep clicking next every time you've done that. And then once you've gone through all the different sections at the end of it, there'll be a knowledge check. So airspace and restrictions, obviously, because the this is the FAA rules. So I've actually know quite a bit about this, but I'm, I'm certainly not part 107 qualified. Uh, because each country has their own different laws but it is interesting to find out how you guys in the united states the laws you've got as well so that's why i'm doing this and trying to help you so I'll go through these are different places where you can fly so it talks to you here about controlled airspace uncontrolled airspace and the height limits and then just skim through all that until you get to the knowledge check at the end once you've got to that knowledge check it will then ask you seven or five questions related on that topic so everything we've just read there so it talks about here recognized flyer is what so this is someone who flies for fun in the united states so once you've done that click next and then the next question will be recreational fire does not need any airspace authorization in which area controlled or uncontrolled and then just work your way through that once you've completed that then you move on to the next section section two you'll see this person now flying looks like a mavic Pro. So this is now going to talk about preparing your drone and checking it. Because these are general basic knowledge. It's you know it's basically it's talking about what are the conditions like. Have you checked the drone before going out and flying? So is a propeller hanging off the side? You know are you drunk? Are you on drugs? You shouldn't be flying in high winds. Poor visibility. Just go through and look at all these. But a lot of it is just common sense to be fair. But this is an area all about checking the drone and making sure you're ready and ready to go out and fly and then not get it in the end and go, oh my God, this is going to happen. So get to knowledge check again. This one, we've got six questions. This asks some of these. Now, multiple choice. If you do get one wrong, then you can just do it again. And there's no limit to the amount of times you can do this. So I'm just going to fly through this again. When you get to the end, well done, you've done that. Now we can move on to section three. Section three looks like another Mavic Pro there with some guy and his family really happy about flying this, this drone. <laughs> so let's move on to this. And this is about the community based organization safety guidelines to go through all this. And this talks about all the different requirements met on the FAA. So this is a bit more in depth. It's a more about retaining visual line of sight, having any bystanders with you or uh, observers. And when you've done all that, it's really quick. That's the one. And then go into the 
Nolly's check, five questions for this when you've done all this. Talks about FPV as well, so make sure you do read this one in a bit more depth. And then section four, which is the last one, is here, nice little landing pad, can't see the drone there. And this is just getting to know it. So it's getting to know maximum altitudes and the weight limits and areas where you can fly, what happens if you get a weak signal. Most of these I've talked about on this actual channel to death. So it's common sense, you know, if you're gonna be flying in an area where there's loads of tall buildings, make sure that your return to home is set appropriately. For a lot of people, this is gonna be common sense. This is for the people who are gonna go into Best Buy or Walmart and pick up a drone off the shelf never flown a drone before in their life and go out and fly it and crash it into a building or smash it into something or fly it over roads you know irresponsible so this is for is not for them people who have been flying drones years this is going to be so easy for you but this is just to make sure that everyone has a basic fundamental understanding of the laws and how to fly the drone in the US and the restrictions that they also have. So once you've done this, it talks you about registration now, the FPV mode, automated flights, different safety features, and then any documents you need. So go through this, it's quite a lengthy one, section four, and then you've got five questions at the end of it. And then once you've done that, which is the last question here, the registration number is on the outside of the drone, click finish quiz, and you have got your certificate. Now this is important to keep, so it's a good idea to download it and print it off. There's no limit on how long this certificate lasts, but you should download it and print it and then keep it with you because if the FAA asks you for it, you have to produce it, same with law enforcement as well. So this is for, this is even DJI Mini 2 Mini 1s, anyone who flies a drone recreationally now in the United States has to do this test. So this isn't the same as registering your drone if it's under a certain 250 limit. This is anybody who flies for fun. So even if you're not making money through this, if you're not making it as a business, if you just go out and fly that drone for fun in a park or anywhere at all in the United States, you've got to do this test. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Any questions, just ask me in the comments down below. I'm sure you'll be able to pass this with flying colors. But a quick video there to tell you that this is now live. Make sure you go and do it. Just spend 20 minutes on this, it'll be done. And then let me know, is this helpful or not? And if you're new around here, make sure you like and subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.